Is there any reason to think if when you once do reach menopause that fibroid symptoms can either dissipate, kind of go away on their yeah. own, will these fibroids shrink? What, what happens? Yeah. So the fibroids generally, at, at once the hormones change with menopause, fibroids generally tend to retract and regress in size and symptoms at that point um, will diminish significantly. Now some women still have symptoms after menopause because they take hormonal replacement. But for the most part, our goal in treatment, if, if, we're not, if the fibroids aren't being removed, is just to get the women, it's a bridge to menopause because once a woman reaches menopause, those symptoms basically go away. Okay. And we, we talked earlier about the perimenopausal surge. And, and sometimes in some women, especially as Jim has said, with the, the hormonal replacement therapy, you stay. It's, it's estrogen, actually, that is stimulating these fibroids. And then there's also a, a small subset of women. There are substances actually in fat cells that stimulate the effects of estrogen. So we hmm. do, we tell patients if they, if they come to our office and they're perimenopausal, we say, let's, let's try and wait. Let's see if we could do wait, watchful waiting and, and get you through this. But then you do see some patients over time, a couple years later, and their symptoms haven't gone away. We get an MRI, they're still active fibroids, and they do need treatment. And so while almost all the time they do go away, there is a small subset of women who still do uh, better once they're treated, even postmenopausal.